Hey, welcome back to example four in our notes for product sum identities. And we're going to simplify this expression cosine of 3 beta minus cosine of 11 beta all divided by sine of 9 beta plus sine of 5 beta. So the numerator is a difference of cosines of two different angles. So we're going to use the sum to product identity that subtracts cosines of two different angles. And that numerator then is going to be negative 2 times the sine of the sum of the angles. So 3 uh, beta plus 11 beta is 14 beta divided by 2 would be 7 beta. And that's times the sine of the difference of the angles divided by 2. So 3 minus 11 is negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4 beta. Okay, that's all divided by the denominator, which is a sum of sines of two different angles. And so we'll be using the sum to product identity that adds the sines of two different angles. And that identity will be 2 sine and then we add the angles and divide by 2. So 9 beta plus 5 beta is 14 beta divided by 2 is 7 beta. That's times the cosine. And we subtract the angles and divide by 2. So 9 beta minus 5 beta is 4 beta divided by 2 is 2 beta. It, we can see in the numerator that the sine of 7 beta cancels with the sine of 7 beta, and this 2 will cancel with this 2 in the denominator, and that's going to leave us negative sine of negative 4 beta divided by the cosine of 2 beta. Okay, this is uh, odd identity. Sine of a negative angle is equal to the negative sine of the positive angle, and a negative times a negative is a positive. So this would simplify to the sine of 4 beta divided by the cosine of 2 beta. And 4 beta is a double angle, and we just learned double and half angle identities in our last lessons. So we're going to use that double angle identity on the numerator. So the sine of double angle is in that identity 2 sine of the single angle times the cosine of the single angle. So using that identity on our numerator, we're going to have a 2 sine and 4 beta divided by 2 is 2 beta. That's times the cosine of the same angle, 2 beta. And in our denominator, before we apply that um, double angle identity to the denominator, notice that we have a cosine of 2 beta now in our numerator. So we're just going to leave the denominator alone so that we can cancel those common factors from the numerator and denominator. And that gives us a final answer of 2 sine of 2 beta.